Okay, something happened. We had a little glitch. So this is Dr. Sharon. I'm going live. I saw Wendy on. I saw Lakeisha on. Um, jump on board. It's Super Bowl Sunday. Uh, I am in my car doing this little live post. I will repost it later. Happy Super Bowl. Even though the world's greatest team, the Dallas Cowboys, are not in the Super Bowl this year. Um... Uh, even though they're not in the Super Bowl this year, I still am a loyal Cowboy fan. Hi, Dr. Yvette McQueen. Happy National Women Physicians Day yesterday to my girl Yvette. Um, do repost on We are still trying to make sure. And hi, Sora Jennifer King Congleton. Again, this is a topic, and it's going to be a quick hit because I got to go to the gym. This is how to navigate Super Bowl Sunday. Most of us are trying to be a little healthier. We got parties or we're going to a um, sports bar or you may have a little wine. You may have Steve. You may have a little something going on later. Um, so how do you navigate it? How do you be healthy? Hey, Mark Jones, you need to call me. Call me Mark Jones. Um, so, hey, Gary. Um, so, this is Super Bowl Sunday. I am a football fanatic. I will be watching the Super Bowl somewhere. I'm not 100% sure, but probably at a sports bar somewhere. And so the questions that I have gotten over the last few days uh, is, how do you navigate that? It really isn't just the Super Bowl. How do you navigate a big event? So usually Super Bowl parties, you are drinking, you are high Chantel, you are eating snacks, the nachos, the fried chicken wings. My people in North Carolina will have some barbecue and all that good stuff. How do you navigate it and you're trying to be healthier? So, uh, after several emails and what? Yeah. After all of that, I decided I would go on Facebook Live for a minute. So, number one, I am in my car in workout gear. I apologize we're having difficulty with whatever. I'm in my car in workout gear. Why? Because it's about 2 o'clock. Hi, Deborah. Miss you at church today. Um, it's about 2 o'clock. So, I, or whatever time it is. I am going to the gym to do a killer workout for about 45 minutes to an hour. Do some weights and do some cardio. And amp up my cardio just in case I take in more calories. The other thing is, and maybe too late for you, is I made sure that I had a very simple breakfast, a little protein, that's it, and some fruit because more of my calories will be coming in later on today and I wanted to balance it out. The other big thing, and this is the key, especially if you do consume... You don't necessarily, and I'm sorry we're going in and out, but I'm still going to be here. Uh, it's raining here. Number one, for every glass of wine that you drink or a mixed drink that you drink, drink a glass of water for everyone and mix it. The other thing is do a wine spritzer. Do about three ounces of wine and put some carbonated water in it. That is less calories. Wine typically has less calories than the mixed drinks. If you're really trying to watch your weight, don't do none of them strawberry daiquiri things and all of that. Um, and yeah, work out before the party. That's what I'm going to do or high calories. And you do that because when you work out, what happens is you burn calories at this level. And then when you work out about four hours later, you, you burn calories at a higher level. That's also why we need to make sure we lift weights. If you lift weights, actually your calorie burn is longer. So I do weights first and I'm certainly not a fitness guru, but I do weights first and then I'm a kill cardio for a while. So again, Every glass of wine that you drink, hi, Sharita, every glass of wine or mixed drink that you drink, drink water. And the other thing is, even if you're not drinking alcohol, avoid the 